Okay, if I remember, I'm filming my non-routine videos with this gold sweater on today, and then my routine videos with my light green, sea green under armor. No, wait, because then I have to put this in my walking playlist. So no, okay, I won't, I won't. but I've already done a video for today. Uh, the Italian word of the day, and then I'll put uh, the sweet and or savory eats video in that one. If I remember, okay, video fun tidbit. So I'm Tannis Leonardi, this is my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi. I'm Tannis Corley Leonardi, this is my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi. And I'm filming this Friday, 1 March, 2024. And this is my perspective on the state of the 100 freestyle as of... Friday 1 March 2024. So as of the day I'm filming this. So I'm Tannis Leonardi. I'm a she, her, hers, and I am of Seattle. Uh, I provide a brief perspective on the 100 Freestyle, which is a swimming event. I cover multiple uh, mediums of competition, like vapor or gas phase, liquid, and running on solid. Okay, I cover multiple sports. So um, specificity here of... If you're thinking of like parkour freestyle type running, this is a, a reference to the swimming event. Okay. Um, as of filming this video on Friday, 1 March 2024, this is a standard distance competed in both yards and meters competitions. So even, so let's take kind of one of the biggest structures of, or like volume wise, kind of one of them, of competition in the United States of America, Summer League, where Summer League is kind of, there's also the YMCA, which is kind of year-round and may take the summers off kind of thing. Um, Summer League is kind of like the lower volume. It's the, our meets were contested and they are contested, you know, three to four hours on Tuesday and Thursday afternoon slash evenings kind of thing during the summer. <clears throat> Appro at least approximately <laughs> like there is it starts you know mid to end june so that kind of thing and so even in that one where the distance is covered are 25s 50s and hundreds there was a hundred freestyle there was also a hundred individual medley uh there's a hundred freestyle and then at the ymca the distances would go up to over 500 yards if it, um, in my experience with freestyle so and those two basic volume the vast majority right 99 or a hundred percent of all swimmers do some like on swim team do one of those two structures in the united states of america kind of thing um so it is a commonality all right go up in distance or sideways in distance and it might be a bit of a a miss right um hit or miss and the only hit there like as in yay there's another hundred would be the hundred yard individual medley um or hundred individual medley specifically and so there is uh in that sense this is a if one wants to think of like in summer league right i was on summer league for 12 years my team this was the distance event or this in the hundred individual medley <laughs> so, uh, in that sense, if we're thinking of um, the basic distance that, let's say, everybody had my competition experience, which some have more, some have less, some have the same, um, let's just roll with it, right? Um, in the 25, 50s, and 100 space, then people would also having, if they have a comp competition background, they have an understanding of 100 is a distance right? <laughs> compared to a 25, which is a quarter of the distance. Um, do uh, this is kind of a well established event I think uh, currently uh, the press is not necessarily so positive towards necessarily the world record holders in the 100 meter freestyle short course and long course uh, male and female I, I would guess in part that's because no United States of Americans have held those records for any of them for what over a decade now over 15 years and like just take the long course 100 meter freestyle or it's going most recent Chinese before that Romanian before that Brazilian <laughs> like um so it's a kind of no Americans are world record fast and have not been recently um which is kind of an interesting thing so I live in the United States of America I hold citizenship here I am of Seattle um 
as I mentioned when I kind of introduced myself. And so it is kind of an interesting thing in that sense of, it's interesting because it kind of does reinforce that the United States of America puts an emphasis on the metal table for metal collecting, not necessarily for like high caliber speed performances. Um, and this is one of those events that currently really highlights that. Um, and so the press can get very antagonistic towards the people who hold those world records, um, such as on my pawn, Kyle Chalmers, Sarah Showstrom, that kind of stuff. So it just kind of keeping in that, that in mind is um, sometimes, especially in the United States of America, they're become, the American and especially the American press can become very unfriendly and hostile um, towards the people and the significant others of the world record holders. The, or the of yeah the, of the world record holders um kind of thing and spread misinformation and stuff like that and i kind of wonder if it's just in part um right because the usa is subpar in its speed <laughs> right that um lack of speed also corresponds to a lower quality press coverage right of especially those who are not americans those who are faster is um low quality times correspond with low quality press um though it i don't think it's really been well, yeah, so has there been a world record in this from an American in my lifetime, born in the early to mid 1990s? If it has, it's been a while and I don't remember who it was. Yeah, so there we go. That's my perspective on the state of the 100 freestyle as of Friday, 1 March, 2024.